Counties across the area are shutting down access to towns, hoping to keep potential looters and rioters out of their town. Now, all of this in anticipation of protests heading into the weekend. CBS 13's Marissa Perlman is live in El Dorado Hills, where access to town is now shut down, Marissa. Yeah, they are getting ready. The barriers here in town are in place. And now there's a fear of destruction to new builds just like this one. Some businesses here in town plan to board up. Some say, though, shutting off access to town center is a move keeping folks here safe, not sorry. No peace! No justice! I fear for my boys, and I shouldn't have to. Black lives matter! A small but mighty peaceful protest in town center, El Dorado Hills. This gets me a little bit emotional, but I am the mom of these two beautiful black boys. And while I have always stood behind this movement, um, something has to change. Despite the size and nature of this gathering, the sheriff's office says they are preparing for any civil unrest that might happen into the weekend. Their strategy, shut off access to Highway 50 off ramps. We live in a beautiful area, um, but um, we want to keep it that way and keep it safe. Leaders say these off ramps at Silva Parkway are closed until Monday morning. Town Center Boulevard has been barricaded and closed off in the evenings with select businesses boarding up storefronts. They say it's to protect businesses and the public from any looters or riots, but it could also literally drive off visitors to these shops and restaurants. It's challenging for everybody. Melanie Sweeney, owner of Nibblers, a candy shop in town, says it's better to be safe than sorry. I think it's better to run on the precaution side um, while being able to keep our businesses open and then have the mass amounts of damage you're seeing in the cities. Even in light of COVID-19 closures doing its own damage to businesses here. Business is definitely down and um, everybody has cut hours. The people who think it's overkill, but when it comes to property damage and these businesses are struggling as it is just to hold on till whatever the new normal is. At the county sheriff standing by this evening, and El Dorado Hills isn't alone. It's the same story in Placerville and Roseville, where off and on ramps bringing you into town have been closed off earlier this week. Here in El Dorado Hills, those closures will be in place until Monday morning at 6 a.m.